Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to some more single player Tarkov, my name is Dragonaut and today, well as you can see most of the gear is gone, I no longer have a vest to put on, um, I could buy a rig and in fact I already bought a rig and I've prepared a rifle and everything but I'm looking for a vest and a backpack and maybe even a helmet, I have some headsets but uh, I'm lacking helmets so we'll, we'll see, we'll see what I can get. I'm going to try and do a quick little factory run to pick up something and then uh, take things from there. Uh, I also, today, reorganized my desk a little bit. So I've moved, there was like a little shelf uh, thing on it. There, there was at the, the at the back, like it had a little raised um, bit where you can put stuff on. And anyways, you don't really care about the details, but I removed that. It's now a completely flat desk. And I've moved the, um, some of the stuff around and the monitor is now at a slightly different distance and a slightly different angle from what it used to be. So I'm hoping that that is enough to change sort of the um, the terrible luck I've had in the last two runs. And so today we are going into factory with just one purpose and just one idea, and that is to get one or two kills with this pistol, uh, loot the people that we kill, get their guns, use their guns and, and ammo and um, gear and stuff to extract and then use that to, you know, upgrade our gear from there and do some quests and so on and so forth because I'm lacking some things. Not a lot, but some things. I also don't have that much in the way of medication, which is kind of unbelievable to me, but, but I I, I guess I sold a lot of it. Um, I could have sworn I had a number of IFACs and... I don't know, some other things as well. Okay, what the hell? What the hell's going on? Uh, hello? Okay, sorry about that. Nothing's going on. It just took a while. I didn't know there was a second guy. I had no idea that there was a second guy there. His friend got me in the end, but I'm pretty sure I hit some of them in the face too. And that didn't help either, did it? Yeah. Slugs, uh, slug to the stomach and I was dead. 762 to the stomach as well, heavy bleeding. Uh, did I do any damage? Damage dealt to body 242. Hit count 9, ammo used 11. Yikes. Yeah, they were wearing some serious protection. I guess I didn't get any face shots in. Oh, that's... Uh, cry and shame is what we call that. That's okay, though. Uh, I didn't expect much from a factory run like that. We could do another one with a pistol. I... Like, I have a backup pistol there. But I'm not a big fan of doing corpse runs like that. Where, you know, you just die and, and run in again, die and run in again, and so on and so forth. Um, instead, why don't we give it a proper shot? This time, with an AS Val. However, um, obviously not on that map. Uh, instead, I want to go to maybe something like Customs. Oh, Dragonaut wants to go on Customs. Shocker. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I also think I can trade something in for a cell work kit or a car kit. I don't have an EWR? Okay, well, I'll buy a car kit in that case, just to have a little bit of healing. Against some basic, uh... Damage that I might suffer. And then hope I pick up headwear and body armor along the way. Yeah, just don't, uh... Oh, wait, did I not?
Did I not heal? Okay, I'm sorry, but can I no longer pay to heal up? Or, or, or did I just, just completely neglect to do that? It is possible that I've just completely neglected to do that, when, in which case, whoops. But, um, if I did... I'm sorry, I guess. I know I can heal with the Grizzly over here, so... Yeah, you know, it's not the end of the world. There we go. Okay, the uh, pistol, am I bringing any? Well, no, mostly because I don't have one, right? Yeah, yikes. Um, I have an Alton helmet if I want to take that, but I don't, especially because I don't have body armor. If I had body armor, I would, but I don't, so not really my thing, I'm afraid. All right, there you go. We're going with this. Um, factory interchange, streets, woods, ground zero. Line. That's a good question. Where are we going? Go to tasks. What tasks do we have on shoreline? We have eliminate scavs with headshots while using 12 gauge shotguns. And the cult. Locate the missing informant. You know what? We can do the cult. Okay, I'm horribly sorry for not showing you the very beginning of the raid, but I just shot and killed two people. Um... I was fiddling something with the recording settings, and yeah, two guys just ran up in front of me. I didn't bring any keys for Shoreline, but that's okay. I'm not going to probably be in a position to use very many. Wow. Oh, SMB rounds, too. Jeez. I can't unload the last bullet ever from these things. It always says it's being modified. But, eh. Okay, so an Ulak helmet. Good, uh. Good backpack, too. Okay, all things considered, good healing as well, nice. All things considered... I would say this whole idea of, uh... Go with not-so-great gear and hope you find something. Thus far is turning out to be wonderful. Now, the only question is how do we get to where I'm going? And that's to do the cult mission. Um, one of the problems is that I started this raid at, at 5 a.m. thinking that will be daylight. Sort of going against my better judgment. And now that it's not daylight, I'm a bit... Uh, well, I can't really say I'm surprised, can I? But... Is 
this a fixed 14x magnification scope? It says 3 to 24 by 42. The scope is glitched, okay. 3 to 24 should be variable magnification, right? You go from 3x to 4x to 5x to 6x very slowly, very reliably. I mean, I've used the scope like that. Okay, what about if I remove it? And then put it back on. Maybe they're just it's the scope that's like that. No, it's the scope that's just stuck at 14. Did they really find a 3 to 24 scope and said, ah, you know what? The middle sounds about right and you can't change it. I almost can't believe that, but apparently that's exactly what happened. Now, this slick body armor that I'm carrying has a busted front plate. And so, it's really not going to provide any protection. But I think... to path of path to lighthouse so I know exactly where well maybe not exactly but I know roughly where I need to go in order to do the cult uh, informer thing in the jig only slight problem is I'm gonna go the long way around so it's gonna take a minute to get there I'm going towards pier boat first. And the pier exit, and then from there I'm gonna... Did I reload? Yeah, I did. Also gotta remember, I don't have the best ammo for this gun. It is an AS Val, it does hit like a truck, it's very silent, all of that stands. It's in great condition too, however, I don't have the best ammo for it. What I do have good ammo for is the SV-98. And it's ammo I've just picked up, so... Am I really going to be able to use it at distances like this? At, like, the typical shoreline distances? Probably not. Not with that scope, no. Maybe we find some uh, nasty hole to dig ourselves in and sort of try and take things from there. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, like... You can see the very end of the road from here. And I can hear that's where a lot of the shots are coming from, so I can maybe... Sneak in a kill. I feel like this is... 
It sounds close, but I get the feeling that this is very, very far away. Yeah. Like I said, very, very far away. Unfortunately, no scavs there, at least not that I can see. Would love to take a shot like this. At this sort of distance. Rangefinder as well, look. 300 meters. Dial it in on the rifle, on the dot, and boom, you know? That's kind of why I love sniping. Um, for shots like that where you... Shots like that when you plan it out and everything, yeah? <laughs> oh, there's that bug again. Well... I am going to use it, sorry. Nice try, my friend. Ah, uh, this poor bloke didn't have much on him. Though he did have an MRE. I'm acting almost like a scab at this point. I'm being drawn to the gunfire. But with a high magnification scope and a powerful rifle like that with, with uh, some stupidly powerful rounds, how do you not get drawn to... Shots, what the... Yeah, that is a body. I'm not being stupid. Okay. He's there. I can see them. Rat you! You're a goner and so is the friend trying to... Get to you. Oh, I'm so happy I got to use this sniper. I am oh so happy I got to use it at this point. I don't even care if I... Well, okay, I do care, but I don't 
care that much what I do. From this point on, I consider virtually anything a victory. <laughs> I saw you, buddy. Really, you're going to tell me that didn't hit him. Okay. Nobody on the left to shoot at me, no. Let's move a bit closer to the edge. Clearly, I'm doing something wrong. Distance, 200 meters. Dial it in. Those are not on me, right? Yeah, they just sound close. They're not on me, though. Take it down to 150 meters. Okay, there's going to be fighting around the power station. Undoubtedly. What I'm just curious is how can level 6 body armor, or oh, sorry, level 6 uh, penetration bullet hit body armor and go, eh, you know what, just hit the armor. Didn't kill anything. 62 pen. That's the kind of bullets I'm... Complete accident, but I got both of them. They were firing at each other and I just third-partied both. was good. That was very good. I like that. I very much approve of what just happened here. I think I'm about to get myself some really nice loot.
Okay. Someone has a really large, uh, sorry, a really high caliber rifle. A really, really high caliber rifle. Slight problem right there. It's probably scavs, but I don't have time to play with them. This is the guy I killed. Over, yeah, this is the one I wanted. Okay, not so good, actually, huh? Yeah, he was a poor bastard, didn't have much on him. Shame. Kind of thought I hit the jackpot with him, but... Evidently not the case. I can hear them. Okay. Hmm. My plan was to peek and spot them and shoot them immediately. You 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 can see where that went wrong. I didn't see anyone. That's okay though. That's okay because I can still flank around and get on top of the situation. That, by that, I mean literally get on top of this cliff and shoot from there. There was someone here, like, well, at least around here, firing extremely high caliber ammunition. I don't know if it was 308. Wow, well, you would call that extremely high caliber. Well,. For Tarkov, kind of, right? But maybe even 50 cal, I don't know. It is hard to tell. 22 minutes left, though. I didn't spend any time looting. I'm just in combat. There's someone in front of me. And from the sound of things, they were moving through foliage. So what, if they get me, GG. Not GG, not GG, not GG. It's so freaking unlucky that there's a guy there. If there wasn't, I would be king of the world right now. Oh, 
But what about this shot, though? Nah, never mind. I think I took out the guy in the foliage. I now just need to take out the guy he was shooting at, which is, you know... The other half of the job. I can see him. Saw him for a quick second. Let's check the distance. 100 meters. Dial it in. Get ready to take the shot when he peeks out next time. Trying to stay in the shadows, blend in with the rocks as much as I can. Okay, no problem, let's just load this up. And we'll be on our way. I'm hoping, uh, what was his name? Fiat? Fiaf, probably. I'm hoping he, uh... I was going to say, I'm hoping he had some water on him. I don't know if he did. Also, don't know where he is. Just shot the man. No idea where he is. Okay, found him. There's nothing but a bloody pistol. Guess what? We are leaving. That cult mission isn't going to do itself. And, uh... I have better things to do than sit around here waiting for... other people to come in this general direction. Closer to the extract and to the mission uh, point. And I'm gonna also try and get to a good sniping position over here first before I do that. There we go. Targets are plenty. Distance, 200 meters. Dial it in. Are you going to tell me I missed that because of the range on the gun? 
Oh, it's exactly 200 meters. You cannot tell me I missed that because of the because of the range on the scope. Because I gauged that perfectly with a laser. So why did that shot not hit? That's um be brutally honest with you, this is one of the biggest reasons why I installed hit markers. Because I'm noticing something's horribly off with the hit markers. When moving, I can sort of see what's happening. You need to guide the bullets in, in a manner of speaking. I get that. But no, it's situations like this that leave me the most confused. Because I have absolutely zero idea why that didn't hit. I suppose I'm not really role-playing this, so uh, stepping out of character would be the wrong word to call it, but... You know, talking pure gameplay... I understand that sometimes it's the hitboxes. The hitboxes of the gun, of uh, what I'm shooting at and whatever, and... Yeah, sometimes they that's a little bit messed up. Prime example for a game with the worst hitboxes I've ever seen, Fallout 4. Fallout hitboxes are all over the place. None of them are even remotely where they should be. In a game like this, though, I was hoping it wouldn't be the case. And for the most part, it isn't. In fact, seldom have I seen terrible hitboxes here to that extent. However, I've also seen shots disappear like that. I was hoping you would turn around and come towards me. CQB time with a vowel. I need to make it like two hundred and fifty meters over in that direction. That's not near here by any stretch of the imagination. Eighty meters from this angle. Oh, canal. Uh, me from two weeks ago would have hit that shot. Just saying. Three weeks ago. Yeah, it's actually like more or less three weeks ago because I was on vacation too. Say what you will, me from three weeks ago is hitting that shot on that scav 
walking across the courtyard. But this is not me from three weeks ago, this is me now. And... Some of those shots that I should be hitting, I'm just gonna miss. It is what it is. And there's precious little I can do about it. What the hell is that? Okay, hello. Need to pick anything up from the scav here, maybe? A new ULAC helmet, that's what I need to pick up. UCW338 Lapua, alright. We will take it. Uh, do I just extract and leave, or what? Extract and leave, okay. Off the lighthouse, 260 meters. That way we are leaving. Although that's not the end of... the combat mission here. As it were, I can hear those shots, they're relatively nearby. I'm gonna try and get on top of the rocks over there, just before the exit, and snipe. Well, like a proper little rat. Well, no. Rats are in it for the loot, I'm not in it for the loot, I'm just in it to... ...get a little bit more experience, maybe. And then that's about it. Okay, Bath Lighthouse is 100 meters away. Does that mean the extract is not here exactly? No, it is not. Okay, lovely. Ooh, this is a good spot. Oh, this is a very secluded and nice spot. And it's right near the exit, and it overlooks most of the village. Let's see if I can spot anyone. There, right up ahead, like, there where the front, uh, front sight is. Looks like flashlights, uh, but no, it's just the light from the sun breaking. So it's not over there. I can't really, really look for sources of light, which is unfortunate. Okay, maybe if I go up. this thing. I'm prone in this position. This has to be way further away than I think. Six minutes left. I'm gonna look around for like a minute more maybe, and then I'm leaving.
Nah. Alright, let's get out of here. It's, uh, you know, it's one task done. One less thing to worry about. And it's finally a victory. I mean, I could use one, right? All things considered. How the previous two raids went. I would say this is, uh... I would say I needed this, right? Definitely. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry about that. The game crashed. Just, just shut down. I really have no idea why, but, uh, wait, did I lose anything? No, I didn't lose anything. No progression, no items, anything. Everything's fine. Okay, that was weird. I've never had that happen. Uh, alright, Peacekeeper. The cult. Complete. Kurva, pardon the swearing, but the situation is just too bizarre, although it may even turn to benefit us. If you say so, buddy. Uh, I'm having this strange feeling, you know, what, what, what did this say? Um, uh, okay. Well, you discovered in the village is very interesting. It looks some kind of occult sect. I've heard rumours before that they were in group actively spraying the news of approaching cataclysm and that kind of hysteria. Now, they often make sacrifices to their gods, and what would you think they offer as sacrifice weapons? It's not clear where they take it from, or what they do with the rest of their time. We only know they have several such sacrifice altars everywhere. Find them and mark with beacons. Two on woods, one on customs, one on shoreline. Alright, fair enough. Um, and let me get my reward for doing the quest as well. Which is three gold chains. Significant amount by any standard. Yeah. Alright, and now I'm going to, of course, sell... The rest of the stuff here that I don't need, I am going to fix this. Nah, it's too broken to fix. Or is it? Not really. Yeah, 63 out of... Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's not broken. Alright, mm, let's put this here, because, uh, you know, we were missing a helmet. And the hose is also very useful. This goes in the ammo box. All of the dog tags that we've collected. This goes here for samples. This I think I'm going to sell. Uh, up for athletes, yeah. Okay, you don't need this either. Wrong ammo in the pistol, so we're going to sort that out. Sniper rifle I like a lot, though. I'm going to sort out this ammunition uh, off-camera as well to, like, assault rifle ammo, um, pistol ammo, and sniper ammo. Even though that's doesn't make a lot of sense because like you're gonna use assault rifle ammo for a gun like um I don't know maybe a TX-15 with a large scope on it and you're gonna use sniper rifle ammo in like a scar and you're gonna use it as, as an assault weapon but I'll know what it is and you'll know what it is even though it's technically not the most um sensible and, and correct way to Sort them out. It'll 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 do the trick. I don't have any any better ideas for now, at least. Okay. Uh. Well, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video. Want to stay tuned with the rest of the series and the rest of the content that I produce on this channel. Until next time, my name is Juggernaut.
Have fun. Take care. And bye-bye.